Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, feel free to stick around and check out my other videos. In this video, I am doing a strainer pour using some leftover Crayola washable pour paints. So I can't really lie, um, I didn't have much faith in these paints because they're advertised as ready to pour, but they are incredibly thick. I actually think these are just tempera paints that Crayola is advertising as pour paints. So, yeah. I'm also going to be using some of my own pre-mixed uh, black and white paint. I hand mix these using a one-to-one -one ratio. These are both Craftsmart. You get these at Michael's. They're like $14 for a big jug. Um, they're mixed one-to-one -one paint to flow troll and then just a splash of water to thin it out to a good flowing consistency. I will absolutely include my mix ratio down in the description box so that way you can jot it down for yourself if you want. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the paints are really thick so it took it a really long time to drain through the strainer. Just waiting for it to drain again. Hold tight.
I'm sure you've noticed me dropping silicone into several of the layers that I've poured. Um, I'm using Artist Loft Level 1 Silicone Oil from Michaels. This is the final time I let it sit and drain, and uh, it wasn't completely drained when I came back. I do want to point out how much I liked the way the uh, paint looked as it was coming out of the strainer. Um, and then here I am just lifting it up and letting it drain completely because I was getting impatient and wasn't going to let it sit there for much longer. Since I used silicone, I decided to take my torch and just try to help it out a little bit. Now, the paint that I poured on the canvas originally should have been enough to cover, but I was really scared that it wouldn't stretch very well, being that it's so, so thick. So I decided to add a little extra black and white paint around the edges of the canvas. This just helps your center paint flow a little easier. I'm really glad I decided to do this because you'll see in a little bit that when I was tilting, it really gave me a hard time on some of the corners. So had I not put more paint on the canvas, it would have probably not covered completely because it just didn't want to move. I know it looks like it's moving easily here, but I have this sped up almost 11 times faster than what it was recorded at. And as you can see, that corner there was giving me a really hard time because the paint is so thick. Time for the close-up. So we're going to start in the bottom left-hand corner and move our way up to the top left-hand corner. But I wanted to stop here and show you that um, my hand mix paints did not play very nicely with the Crayola Ready to Pour paints. It's almost like something in the Crayola paints caused my white to break down a bit. I'm pretty sure you can see what I mean. It looks like it's almost gritty, but it wasn't. Alright, so up to the top. I do kind of like this corner. I like the way the black intermingled with the blue. And I don't know if you remember though, that pink is actually supposed to be red. So either the white completely mixed with the red or it, for some reason, just didn't hold its color. I'm not sure. But it, it's odd that all of it turned to pink. Anyway, let me know what you think of this in the comments. Um, leave your feedback and leave suggestions for other things that I should do. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and a share. Uh, if you're new here, go ahead and poke around, watch my other videos, and help my channel out. Consider subscribing and hit that bell icon when you do subscribe so you're notified when I upload new videos. I really appreciate all the support, guys. 
I hope you like this. Um, I just thought it was something fun to do. I uh, have another video using these Crayola paints coming up, but I have to wait for the paintings to dry before I debut that video. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.